When you hear the word Neanderthal, do you think of a brutish ape-like caveman grunting something like Ooga Booga while trying to start a fire? If so, it's time to think again, because even evolutionists have ditched that prehistoric idea. This misconception of Neanderthals was largely popularized by early 20th century paleoanthropologist Marceline Boole. Boole fraudulently reconstructed a nearly complete Neanderthal skeleton found in a cave in La Chapelle aux Saint, France. Boole made the skeleton look as ape-like as possible, not based on any evidence, but based solely on his evolutionary bias. Boole fooled the world, and many influential scientists at the time, as well as the media, followed suit, cementing in the public mind the idea of Neanderthals being subhuman beasts for decades. Fast forward to today, and we have a dramatically different picture, with Boole being held accountable by the paleoanthropology world for one of the most inaccurate hominin skeletal reconstructions to date. Genetic and archaeological evidence have also forced this shift of thinking in the secular world, with many evolutionists now arguing that Neanderthals should be considered Homo sapiens, which is just a fancy way of saying they're completely human. This amazing evidence has shown that Neanderthals and modern humans had children and raised families together. They've even been found buried together. Looking at the evidence we have from modern genetics, beyond a shadow of any doubt, Neanderthals were 100% human being. European and Asian populations even have 1-4% Neanderthal DNA in their genome. You likely have Neanderthal DNA in your genome. But it gets even better than this. Did you know that Neanderthals also had religious burials with lavish grave goods? Neanderthals not only had jewelry and clothing, they also had cosmetics, musical instruments, tools, and weapons. They created artwork and sculptures, used types of natural medicine, and for all intents and purposes created an ancient form of superglue that our modern scientists can't even replicate. Anatomically, Neanderthal skeletal structures are virtually identical to modern humans. Even more amazing is that their distinctive skull features can be found in populations alive today. Do you want to see something really cool, though? Check out these photos of Nikolai Valuev, a former Russian world champion boxer. Do you see that? His face and head display Neanderthal-like features. I guarantee you if part of his skull was dug up by an evolutionist, they would classify him as a Neanderthal even though he's a modern human. All of this completely demolishes the Neanderthal ape-man myth perpetrated by evolutionists of the former century. Even museums are changing the way they display Neanderthal exhibits based on this overwhelming evidence. Of course, if these scientists would have taken the Book of Genesis seriously, they would have known right from the start that Neanderthals were human beings created in the image of God in the recent past. Follow us for more.